here I will show you how to use our Botanical Garden digital backdrop. Um, so we've got our digital backdrop open here and you'll notice there are four layers. We've got a background layer, we've got a layer here that says your photo and that's actually the layer we're going to click on because we want to drag our photo onto that layer. And we've got a foreground cover-up layer um, and we've got a sunlight layer. So I'm going to turn that sunlight layer off just for now. Um, and let's go ahead and go over to our image. I've already cut out um, this prom image. So let's go ahead and uh, I've got my move tool selected. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it up to the digital backdrop tab. I'm going to come back down to the middle of the canvas and let it drop in. And you can see that it um, has fallen in be uh, behind on top of the background layer but in front of the foreground layer which is exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and scale this first of all. So image, uh, nope, sorry, edit, transform, scale. And let me zoom out a little bit here, it's kind of a large image. Uh, we want to scale this proportionally. That means we want to grab any one of these four corner uh, handles while we hold down our shift key and drag in. That way it avoids distorting our image. So let's bring it in just where we think it sort of fits nicely in there. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. And it's maybe just a little bit big, so let's bring it in just a little. And then we can sort of move this around to where we think that it looks good. I want to try and hide those balloons somewhat. I don't mind a couple. Maybe just that one showing on the bottom. Uh, but that looks pretty good there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on my key keyboard. That will apply the transformation. And really, that's just about all there is to it. We're going to come up here and turn on that sunlight layer. And that sort of makes them feel a little bit more part of the background. What's nice about the sunlight layer is we can adjust the brightness. Right now I've got it to fill at about 40. Um, you can bring that up or down. I'm actually going to bring down just somewhat. And you can also, uh, your move tool is still selected, you can also move, oh, you have to click on the sunlight layer. We can move that sunlight around so that it actually um, works with the light of your subject. And I know that's pretty subtle. I'm going to try bringing that up a little bit more so that you can see as we're moving it around. Um, so you can see how we can sort of move that sunlight around. Um, the sun is coming from the left over here, so I'm just going to move it off to the left. And again, I'm going to bring that fill down. I don't want them to be too blown out. And that's it. That's how you use our digital backdrops. Mm -hmm.